Okay, doing this one more time. Welcome everyone to the CTC Link Accessibility Open Forum. My name is Monica Olson from the State Board. I'm the Accessibility Policy Associate. Um, on the screen, you should see the agenda topics for today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about service desk tickets, uh, review from what we discussed back in April. We did take May off of the open forum series and we're back today. I have a few updates for you in terms of hiring and training around a new accessibility position here at the State Board and a recent training I delivered with colleagues internally at the agency, as well as time for college sharing. Before I hand it over to my State Board colleagues to um, introduce themselves and get us started on today's agenda, a few housekeeping items. Um, this session is being recorded as all sessions are. Um, after the recording is finished, um, I work to get these recordings captioned and then we post them on the CTC Link Accessibility webpage. So if there's something riveting you wanna go rewatch or re-listen to, you're more than welcome to. Or if someone has missed the opportunity to attend but wants to have access to those recordings, they are publicly available on our website. We do have a professional live cart captioner here with us today. So if you would like to use captions to follow along, please press the CC button at the bottom of your Zoom screen. If you don't see the CC button, uh, look for the word more with a three dot ellipses above it. Click that and you should see an option in that menu that says show live transcript. I think I've covered the majority of our housekeeping items and welcome. So with that, I'm gonna, I think, hand it over to Sandy Main first and then Chris Soren. So Sandy. Good morning, everybody. It's Sandy Main, uh, Director of Application Services at the State Board. And I am going to apologize now. My desktop has, um, decided to revolt since yesterday when I changed my <laughs> um, state board password. And so nothing is functioning the way as expected and it randomly likes to do things. So um, I am going to, um, again, thanks everybody for, for joining and, um, and thanks for the grace of letting us cancel May. As you know, or hopefully most of you know, we went live with the last few colleges and to CTC Link and, um, it was a little bit of crazy at the moment and um, or, you know, right after we had gone live and trying to get all the um, things connected and moving. So it was uh, it, it was much appreciated to give us a kind of a break to focus on that um, during the month of May. So should be good moving forward. Um, no more deployments. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a lift. So anyway, I am. Uh, going to turn it over to Christopher Soren and his team who do 99.9% .9 of the work within CTC Link on accessibility. So um, he gets, him and his team are amazing. So Christopher, um, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you and I will try and get my screen back to the way it's supposed to be. Good morning, everybody. I'm Christopher Soren, Application Support Manager. And so let me talk about all the service desk tickets we got. So we have uh, a number of services tickets open with Oracle uh, or service requests. And the at the end of the slide is the full listing of all the open service requests. Um, and what we have here on this page is everything that's changed since our last meeting. So some of them are still pending fixes from the Oracle development team or coming in a future image that we'll be implementing like later this year or, or next year, depending on what. Um, how far out sometimes the Oracle pushes out the bug fixes, <laughs> depending on the complexity of it. Um, so this this first one here in the list, the switch control. So there are um, the, the switch form controls or checkboxes, uh, they, they have multiple labels. Um, and so we've identified that as, a, as an issue uh, and it's not compliant. And so we, we have an SR and we've been going, had a lot of back and forth with Oracle on, on this one, whether they agree that it's compliant um, with WCAG or not. And so um, we've, after lots of back and forth uh, with them, uh, they, they said that they're, they're working with the, they're, they're one of the vice presidents, he's working with the, the people tools team uh, to try and address it. 
the design change. So uh, he said he was going to schedule a meeting with us when they wanted to discuss their plans on the design change. This is one of those ones where uh, I just wouldn't take no for an answer and uh, <laughs> we keep pushing. <laughs> so, uh, yep, so that's progress because initially we got a no on that. Uh, they said it was compliant. So, anyways, uh, so that's good. It's a little progress there. Another people tools related one. So, so the the combo box drop down uh, when you when you click to to pull a drop down it has that blank row at the top, um, and so it needs to it needs to be uh, yeah. So that one needs to be as re resolved as well, um, and it's not ordering them from top to bottom in that list. So their Oracle developments coming out with a solution, and their their aim is to get it out in the eight, uh, people tools a five eight point six. Um, so we're still waiting for them to deliver that. And uh, on the enter time page, um, so when you go to uh, choose one of the, any, uh, any of the options on the page, the page does refresh and uh, it doesn't announce the page refresh to the screen reader like it should. Um, you can still read through the page. Uh, you can still access all the information, but you need to be notified that refresh happened. And so they're, uh, they're working on developing a fix right now. Um, and we're hoping to get that. They're, they're hoping to deliver it to us in uh, POM 43 and, or image 43. POM stands for PeopleSoft Update Manager. <laughs> Later on, we'll have uh, made a uh, acronym definition list. Let me talk about that piece. So, so yeah, this is all the stuff that we're still tracking all the other SRs. We're still discussing the service requests we have open with Oracle, um, seeing where they're at with those. And uh, we're, we're just in waiting mode for some of them, for some of those uh, development fixes to come or, or to implement when we're going to implement them and test them uh, in future images. So but this is everything that's changed since the last time we met. And that's everything I had on this slide. Do you have any questions? Thanks, Chris. Are there any questions or comments from our audience today around the service desk, um, the tickets and the status of the tickets that Chris just went over? This was a little bit of a review of what we have just what we went over in April. We saved Maine. We wanted to make sure we're all on the same page coming back today. And, and this is Sandy Main. This slide deck has been posted to the forum webpage. And um, when you go through the slide deck, the list of outstanding, um, the other items that have not been changed since the last time will be available at the end of the slide deck. So they're still out there listed down there. Um, and the list is also included maybe without a lot of detail, but this on listed on the uh, CTC link, I believe it is the forum webpage as well. So you don't have to dive down necessarily into the PowerPoint. So it's listed there as, as the items that we're working with Oracle on, just as a reminder for everybody. Thanks, Sandy. And in the chat, I put a link to the um, webpage that has, um, the slide deck for today's presentation in case anyone wants to open and download that on their own computer. Monica, this is Sandy. I think you can go ahead and go okay. through your stuff. I didn't really have a slide for that. That's fine. Um, just a second, I've got something happening odd on my own computer. It's, I guess, desktop chaos season. All right, okay. Hi everyone, this is Monica again at the State Board. I have a few updates that I'd like to share with you. My One of my most exciting updates is that um, we have posted live um, a new accessibility position here at the State Board, a full-time web accessibility specialist and quality assurance tester role. This role will be located in the education division at the state board reporting to me as policy associate for accessibility, but we'll definitely have um, um, some responsibility in their portfolio to uh, collaborate with Chris 
and his team on some CTC Link accessibility advocacy work there. Um, so that position is live right now. Um, the closing date has been shifted back a little bit. So it is now closing on the 24th of June. Um, and that's just very exciting. It's been a conversation that I started having um, a year ago when I was hired at the state board within my policy associate role with Carly Schiffner, who's the deputy director of education. She's my direct supervisor. We've had some conversations with Sandy around what that would look like, um, what the needs are around that position and role and responsibilities at the state board, how we would collaborate between the two divisions. So we're on our way to um, finding our new person. Um, I have uh, shared that job posting in all of the e-lists and disability or accessibility communities online that I have access to. So feel free if you if that's crossed your desk, feel free to share that out. If you have questions about the position, you're more than welcome to contact me and I can do my best to answer those. Um, so that's update number one. Update number two is a, a training update that I'd like to share. And it's really kind of just an FYI. Um, in May uh, on GAD, Global Accessibility Awareness Day, I collaborated with um, a few colleagues, Sean Hegney, who's on the call today from Spokane, Marilyn Varela, and um, another developer at our agency. The, the four of us presented <clears throat> Web Accessibility 101 training to about 20 attendees internally at the state board. And our primary audience, audience were uh, website content managers and editors, um, or people who are doing are living in, in code land and doing more coding. And so we uh, talked a little bit about uh, policy um, requirements. We introduced WACAG and poor standards. We provided a live screen reader demonstration. Um, Marilyn actually logged into Omni, our website builder, and um, went through how to check those pages for accessibility violations with examples on how to fix those. And I was really pleased that we had 20 people in attendance um, and that we've received some good feedback in terms of what worked well and was helpful to our audience and what we can do in the future to make it better or even more relevant for the different types of audience members that we had, because there are some people who were relatively brand new to accessibility. And then there are some more seasoned individuals um, where some of the content I am sure was more review than uh, introduction to a new skill. Um, but I'm glad that we pulled that off. So that's my second um, update. My third update is you may recall from previous meetings that I mentioned I had been working on a little guide around how to submit CTC Link related tickets and some of the conversations we've had as a group around accessibility concerns as it relates to solar winds, our ticketing platform, and if people who um, are authorized ticket submitters and also um, users of assistive technology may encounter barriers submitting tickets. Um, my guide was um, an, to provide information on alternative ways to submit that information and to include a list of information is, that's helpful for he, us here at the agency when your ticket is specifically concerning accessibility or disability access issues. Um, so that guide is now complete. I had a meeting with Sandy and Jonathan Ryder yesterday to make sure we had um, the green light. And so I'm going to put a link in the chat now to the Google Doc where that information lives. And my hope is that in the near future, Sandy, I'll be able to get that information posted uh, on our web page so that y'all do not have to rely on a Google Doc. But for now, let me put that link in the chat. And then as I'm working on that, my fourth update is referencing um, uh, Chris's mention of a um, terms and definitions document. So back in April, when we had our last meeting, a few audience members said, you know, these conversations are great. I'm leaning into them. I'm feeling a little bit more included. And I don't live in CTC Link every day. So some of the acronyms you might be using from meeting to meeting, 
like PUM, P-U-M, don't always make sense to me or I forget what they mean in between meetings, which honestly, we're very grateful for that feedback and makes total sense. And when you're using the, those terms, you know, um, every day you forget that they might not be living in other people's brains as well. So thank you to Chris Soren who sat down and started um, a document with uh, terms and definitions for us. And Chris, if you could help me, I actually, maybe I can get that in the chat as well. We have that document um, live available now on our accessibility webpage. It'll, it should open or download as a Word document, I believe. So I'll put that in the chat as well. That's for you all to read whenever you want. Um, the final thing I'll say about that um, is if there are other things that are said that don't make sense to you, if you have questions about an acronym or a term or a word um, that you hear during these open forums or in other meetings, honestly, that you're attending around CTC Link, you're more than welcome to let us know and we will treat this as a living, breathing document and add information um, to the best of our ability to keep everyone on the same page. And those are my four updates, thank you. Now I'll work on the links. This is Chris for again. I posted the link to the definitions in the chat. So feel free to check it out and let me know if there are any other definitions you want to add. This is Monica. Thanks, Chris. And now I'm posting a link to the Google Doc with information around ticket submission and accessibility ticket. So as folks click on those links and view these resources, um, please feel free to ask me questions or let me know if you have comments or concerns. Sean, I'm just seeing your Tuesday tech problems, smiley face comment in the chat. Yeah, it's definitely been the theme for me this morning. Nothing's been working. Okay, I see a few people have clicked on and navigated to the Google Doc. Are there any Questions or comments at this time around that or anything else that I've shared? Okay, that's okay. If you think of something, um, feel free to reach out to me directly or put a question in the chat, but I think we can move on. So this is Sandy Main. I just wanted to, the previous slide that I was um, sharing was just what's on our CTC Link Accessibility webpage. Um, we did add the glossary of terms out there. And it does have all the um, items that we're working with Oracle and what have you. And then our next meeting is the like 12th. I'm just going to advance through the slide if that's okay to show that we do have we've marked as the end of the presentation. But after that, at the very end, you can see the details on where we are with all the service desk and Oracle service or service desk tickets through SolarWinds or, um, and mo mostly there's one-to-one -one relationship, but also the Oracle service request. So the details are at the bottom of the slide deck and just go through each one. It's by pillar. And then we do one that's more overall that's impacting all of CTC link. Thank you for showing, showing that. And that's, and that's really all that I have. We, I will make sure we get that link to the ticket submission process. Um, I'll make sure that it gets posted to the web page um, for that, so. I didn't have anything else, Monica. 
Thanks, Sandy. This is Monica. So um, thank you. Yep. So in the in the guide, you'll see that there's a series of email addresses that were created and they're assigned to different folks at the state board. So that's a an, a different way for authorized ticket submitters to share their information um, in lieu of using solar winds and towards the um, end of the document, there's a list explaining the pieces of information that are helpful for us when the ticket is specifying an accessibility or disability barrier. Um, that information allows us to try to recreate the issue, test it internally, and document it with Oracle um, and you know advocate with that with Oracle directly that there, there is a problem that needs attention. And that was all I had to share as well. Um, so this might be a short and sweet edition of our open forum. I wanna give our audience another opportunity to share any questions or comments at this time. I know, no silly question. Yes, Sean, please go ahead and take the floor. So just a quick question, since I'm not technically a Designated, designated submitter at this time. Is it okay to share the current documents with, for example, our our IT coordinator? Would that be acceptable? Um, I don't want to share something that's not supposed to be shared out. So I just wanted to make sure. Thanks, Sean. That's a good question. Yes, I think this information this information is it's not secret sauce. It's very shareable. So um, if you are in, if you work with your CTC Link project manager on at your college and that's the authorized ticket submitter or your IT coordinator is, then this information would be useful to them for sure. Any other questions or comments? Thank you everyone for being here and joining us this morning. Well, I'm, ex I'm excited um, uh, that hopefully in August or at the August or September um, edition of our open forum, we might have a, a new uh, staff member to introduce to you. So that, that'll, that'll be an exciting moment for me. Um, and I saw the screen disappeared, but our next um, meeting will be the second Tuesday in July, same link, same time. As a reminder, everyone, you are more than welcome to reach out to us by email or using the online submission form at the CTC Link Accessibility webpage. Um, to, if you have questions or comments or topics that you would like to see addressed at this open forum, um, we, we would like to hear from you about that and work that into our presentation materials. Chris, Sandy, Josh, do you all have any additional things that you want to say or share before we say goodbye? Ms. Christopher, just thanks everybody for coming. Hi, Mary. Good to and see I guess you. for myself, this is Josh from SBCTC. Um, thanks everybody for coming. And I look forward to working with the new tester and ironing out even our um, application and onboarding process too, because we're, we're finding some holes in that that need to be filled. So yeah, exciting stuff. Absolutely. Agreed, Josh. Okay. Well, thanks y'all. It's a short, sweet edition. We'll see you back here in July. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, Monica, I think we might have to have our meeting on. Um... Oh, she's, she's gone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>